guys. Today we are going to draw. Oops, sorry, my chair's a bit squeaky. Um, today we are going to draw Mary Seacole. And this is a full length drawing of her. We're going to try and do a self portrait at a later date of her. But for now, we're going to try a full length dress. Okay, let's get started. You'll need, first of all, you'll need your pencil, a rubber. Um, you'll need some colouring pencils in browns and blacks. And you can do whatever colour dress you want, but I've, I've got um, a blue, bit of red, yellow, orange, and my black outlining pen. Okay, let's get started. Just move Mary over there. Now, first of all, we are going to start with a happy face for her head. So at the top of the page, little way down, and go big, round, happy face. Now, Mary has got um, a round face. She's got some chubby cheeks, but she's got a round face. So we're not going to do a U shape like this one. As sometimes we would normally do it, you're going to make it more rounded and stretched out. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, next we're going to do her neck. So we're going to do curve and a curve. Going diagonal across, diagonal across, for a little way for her shoulders. Then you're going to do a big happy face, a big sad face for sleeves. Next diagonal in, diagonal in for her waist. Okay, so you should be lined up down the middle with her neck. Next you're going to do a happy face for her um, waist. And then her skirt is come from there, sad face out. And oh, I've got some bumps under the paper and it's not doing it. Sad face all the way down, sad face and all the way down. Okay, at the bottom, let me move that up so you can make sure you see. You're going to do, you can do a wave to show it has movement in it. We could do a big happy face. I think by adding a few waves, it adds a bit of movement to the skirt. Next, you're going to do a, another. You're going to do another line. Try and keep it more or less the same. So I'm just going to do a bit of a pattern now, a bit of white. Right, slide that down. Let's come back up to our first arm. I'll do this one first because it'd be easy for you to see. So we're going to do a puff sleeve. So they have a puff sleeve. So you're going to come up, round down. And then you're going to do a happy face. Then you're going to do a sad face over, down, down, sad face. And then I'm going to join this in. So from there, just going to come round and join that behind her skirt. So she's got a hand behind her skirt. You're then going to come over and do the same for the other arm. Round, round. Happy face, down, cross, happy face. And this one, I'm just going to come down, arms come in, so your arms are wider at the top. If you look at your own arms, by your, under your elbows, they're wider. Goes in for your wrist. Then we're going to come round, and round for a bit of a hand. Let's put the uh, top of her head on. Um, hopefully you can see this, slide that up so you can make sure you see this. Um, and then um, we'll add all the decoration on. So, um, Mary has afro hair. So we're going to try and get some curls into it and some wave. So to do this, we're going and doing some happy faces up the top. When we get to the middle of her head, we're going to do one across. And then some happy faces all the way down. Over the top, we're going to come sad faces, sad faces, all the way over the top. Mary has some big earrings in, so we're just going to do a big loop there. 
and a big loop there. So she's got some big earrings. Right, we're going to do her face. So we're going to do for her eyes, happy face, sad face. We don't want round circles. You can do a circle in the middle with a dot. And a bit of an eyebrow coming out over the top. You're going to do the same on this side. Happy face. Sad face. Sad face. Her face. And you're going to come do, do, do. And then for her mouth, you're going to do like a stretched out M, sorry. Stretched out M like that. So you're going to do a stretched out M going down. Then a little way in, you're going to do happy face, happy face. She's an older lady, so we're going to do just a bit of a turn down at the end of the mouth. And then you can sort of go across the middle. If you've got room, I haven't got room in the middle of mine, you probably haven't as well, so we don't have to worry about that middle line. Okay, let's move it down. We're going to do a happy face for the top of the neck. Next, in the middle of her dress, we're going to do her buttons so they come down the middle straight line down the middle from the neck to the waist then she's got a bit of decoration so we're going out for the top round across and back in so she's almost like squashed um sort of if you turn it on the side a c shape um next mary has um been given lot awarded lots of medals so we're going to put her medals on so we're going to go down and do a rectangle with a circle on the mod middle. So she's going to need three of these. So you're going to go down, cross, circle, down, cross, up, circle. Now we can put some buttons on just down the side. Don't want too many, space them out. Now to add some character to her um, outfit, we're just going to add couple of lines or a couple of zigzags just at the edge just to show that that's puffy on her skirt you're going to just do a couple of lines curving down that gives her a bit of pattern shows that her skirt is made of fabric on the top of her sleeve I'm just going to go up down up down up down and do some waves up, down, up, down, up, down. Do some waves there. And then the last bit I'm going to do is on the bottom. I'm just going to go round loops. Do loops. So across, round loop. Round loop. And decoration. That's good. I'm going at an angle. I'm sure your loops are going to be a lot better than mine. Mine have got a bit funny. Right. Next bit we're going to do black outline our work. So I'm just going to quickly brush mine. You can pause the video if you have to. Um, catch up. Yeah, all the way down. Oh. This pen's not the best pen. I don't know if I've got a different one. Let's try the other one. Ah, uh, this one's a bit of better. It wants to work, this one. Um, okay, so we're going to do that. Let's just go over our lines. a bit more time on yours I'm really rushing mine out round her hair sad faces boom 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 all the way over top 
eyes. <coughs> now what we can add by her nose um you can add a line curling down a line curling down as she's older maybe a, a line across her head like that just to make her look more aged um what you can also do through her hair let's bring this down <coughs> excuse me um we're going to do lots of um Happy face, sad face, curls. We're just doing a happy face there from all different directions. Just to get some of that afro look into her hair. Right, next. You can rub all your pencil out. I'm not going to, but I'll leave that to you. Right, next we're going to colour. So I'm going to use a slightly lighter brown. And I'm going to colour her head, her face, I mean and down but I'm not going to colour her eyes in because eyes are white and I'm using pencil um, I prefer pencil when we're doing skin colour if I was to do this in a brown felt tip it would be quite harsh and quite a hot strong colour at least with pencil we can get some tones in, some light and dark. The next colour you're going to see is her arms coming down. So we're just going to colour those. Up and down. Oh, I'm going to turn this around so I can see. There you go. Um, oh, I've got that one, that lining pen. Uh, and then we're going to use... Um, a darker brown and I'm going to do a hair in a dark brown but when you're colouring this one you can colour it round in circles so you can colour in a circular motion that will give it that added extra added effect of um, wavy afro hair okay. next if you want to use that dark brown I'm going to use that dark brown I'm going to colour this little coloured bits in the circles in her eyes. I'm also going to colour her lips in a darker brown. We could add a bit of pink over this as well and add a bit of pink into her lips. If you want to, you can add some shadows under her neck. So you can use a bit of the dark brown. Just to add some shadows around the outside or across her forehead where all her hair is. And right underneath her eyes. Okay. So you can add some dark brown. So you get some start adding some shading and some tones. Now, even though we're not at school, some of us, um, or if you are at school, I'm always still looking for competitions, and I get them sent all the time. And I know there is I've got my eye on another one. So still keep on doing your work, and I can get always looking out for work that we can send off. Okay, I'm doing her dress in a felt, in a blue. I'm just doing that going up and down. So I'm doing, doing that in that direction. I'll do that one in that direction. I'm not going to do all of it. I'll do this half of her dress. You can do the other half. Uh, so I'm just going to come down. I'm just doing stripes. You can see how I'm just doing stripes down. It makes um, the pens last longer. If you haven't got pens, you can always use um, colouring pencils or pastels, or you can even use paints. Oh, my pen's running out. Oh, see, this one works. So you're just doing this in stripes, coming down, all the way down. Now I'm going to leave that bit, so I'm only doing it down to this first line. Not going to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to do that bit. Feel that shape in. Oh. There we go, we're almost ready. 
Okay, so I'm just going to do half of mine and you can do the other half of your lady. Okay, so just do that half. Um, next, I'm going to do her um, medals. So she, the red medals are red on the top and yellow underneath. She's got some nice gold shiny medals. Now I've done the edge of her sleeve. I'm going to colour that side to side. There. I'm going to slide her down and then I'm going to go in this yellow felt, I'm going to go over the top of the um, pattern and then with the orange I'm just going to come side to side I'm only going to do half of this but you can see I'm going round the yellow and you can fill that in I've got a dot in the mirror you just feel the white gaps in where you got okay. so you can see what you're going to get um what else do i need if you want to what else you could do is i've got a black coloring pencil and you could under her arms this pen might be a bit wet so it's not it hasn't dried off sometimes felt tips are a bit wet you can add some shadows going down the side and over the top just to see get some nice shadows okay i'm going to bring my original back So there's my original. So what you can do is you can then cut this out. She looks like quite nice cut out. You can cut her out and mount her onto a nice strong bit of card, card um, and that will make her stand out and look really nice. Again, please upload your videos to the new, um, well, the STM Twitter site. I know the school ones have been taken down, so still upload them to the STM Twitter page so that I can see them and you never know if I've got any competitions I might be calling upon you to photograph your work and send it to me okay thank you see you soon have fun